evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the... Oh, the freeway was murdered. <laughs> I don't know, they just ran out and said, say that. <laughs> Thank you and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our new hour show. It's really, we're all excited about it. We were even going to pray for its success, but the Supreme Court said we couldn't. <laughs> but they did give me permission to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> You know, I don't know why they don't let kids pray in school. When I went to school, we prayed. Of course, it didn't do any good. <laughs> the schools were all fireproof. <laughs> so anyhow, the new television season has started, and that used to mean that the entertainers are coming back to work. <laughs> now it means that the doctor's vacations have ended. <laughs> with doctor programs, you know. The only medical program that wasn't sold was Kennedy's. <laughs> you know, I've seen so many of those doctor shows, I could take out my own appendix. <laughs> and from the back. <laughs> you know, and the big news in California now is of the population explosion. And this time next year, California will be the most populous state in the Union. <laughs> I've been watching it happen. I was down at the beach the other day when the tide went out. <laughs> Three hours when it came back, there was no room. <laughs> the estimate by 1980, there will be six-inch space between each car on the freeway, and you have to admit, that's quite an improvement. <laughs> but that freeway is murdered. There are now a car and a half for each family in, in California. Now, that may sound strange, but one trip on the freeway, bang! <laughs> you got a half a car. <laughs> hey, did you hear about the policeman who, who uh, stopped a guy going on a one-way street? And he says, did you see the arrow? The drunk says, see the arrow? I didn't even see the engine. <laughs> Incidentally, they've started a new, new car. They've started a new club out here for the people who travel the freeway. <laughs> and it's murder. <laughs> Those last-minute run-ins they give you. <laughs> Incidentally, the, the new club that they're starting is called the AAMA. AAMA. <laughs> AA dash AMA. It's uh, for drunk drivers. <laughs> The AA for Alcoholics Anonymous and AMA for American Medical Association. <laughs> Boy, when you gotta explain them, they're bad. <laughs> you know, the, the, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, the car out here, it's so, it's so crowded, though, with cars. It won't be long now until we'll have uh, more cars than Kennedy's. <laughs> <laughs> The, the politician slogan used to be a chicken in every pot. Now it's a Kennedy for every office. <laughs> you know how Mrs. Kennedy introduces her family now? She says, I'd like you to meet my sons, the government. <laughs> After 
Ted denomination in Massachusetts, they had a big celebration. Of course, you can't blame them. It's not every day that a candidate is elected. It just seems that way. <laughs> and as soon as the president heard of the results, he called his father and he says, Dad, Ted and Bobby are playing with my country. <laughs> Talking about Washington, though, uh, Gertrude and Heathcliff, the, they were talking, said, where did you go this summer? Said, oh, I had a nice vacation. I went back east. I went back east. I went to, our, uh, to Washington, D.C., and as I was flying over the Capitol, I said, this one's on the house. <laughs> Red Skelton, Harpo Marx, and Virginia Gray in Somebody Up There Should Stay There. George. George Appleby, will you get the bath? In a minute. As soon as I find a toothpaste. There's a new tube in the closet. Where about? Look for it. Well, I've been looking for about five minutes. I can't find a toothpaste, so where did you put it? <laughs> Oh, I found it, dear. They're always hiding things. <laughs> well, there you are. <clears throat> it was behind the eye aspirin bottle. <laughs> I see you got the giant uh, economy size. Well, for your information, I say 15 cents on that. Oh, that's smart, but I wouldn't recommend it for travel. <laughs> Hold it for me, will you? Here we go. When I'm in here. <laughs> well, don't stand there, you idiot. Go shave. Yes. This is for disturbing my reading. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I haven't finished yet. Oh. <laughs> this, this is for squirting me in the face. Well, that's not so bad. This. This is for forgetting to put the cap back on the toothpaste. Ooh. Well, that's bad. <laughs> well, now I can't find my glasses. That's too bad. Oh, I found them. <laughs> oh, I broke the lens out of them. But uh, fortunately, I have another pair of glasses in the closet. That's nice. Well, I knew you'd be pleased. I suppose it'd be asking too much for you to go get me either pair. It would? Yeah. Well, would you at least point me to the direction of the, uh, the closet? Certainly, George. Make a left-hand turn. A left-hand turn. Uh -huh. Right, left. Mm. There you are. Yeah. Now take five giant steps forward. One, two, three, four... Gonna take five giants and one weetsy beetsy wing. <laughs> take a step up. Well, I don't remember this room at all. There you are, George. There's the closet. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, you have been so nice. Thank you. <laughs> George Appleby again. I've got to straighten him out once and for all. 
Let's see. Which guardian angels are, aren't on duty tonight? Those stars back. It's still nighttime. <laughs> if I wasn't so short of help up here, I'd fire you. No wonder everybody's busy. I forgot it was National Misery Week. <laughs> Looks like Appleby will have to take care of his own troubles. You? Trust you to be Appleby's guardian angel? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at your record. You told George Washington that the only army officer in his whole army to trust was Benedict Arnold. <laughs> and then he suggested to Abraham Lincoln that he get those theater tickets. <laughs> Look at that poor, tortured man. <laughs> All right, I'll give you another chance at bat. <laughs> Sadie, make arrangements for Harpo to fly to Earth immediately. Oh, he can't go. He has to play at Gabriel's birthday party tonight. Oh, that's right. Harpo, you'll leave right after the party. And if you goof this time, bird brain, you're going to go straight to... <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. <laughs>
up that ham. I will. I want it right, right above the dimple on my knee. Dimple? Mm -hmm. Boy, it'd be a great place to hide old razor blades. <laughs> There you are. It's all finished, there. Good. I'm going to go look in the mirror and see what kind of a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, but I'm, I'm kind of attached to this dress. You ain't kidding, Martha. Don't look in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. There are a few things I have to do to the skirt yet. Oh, dear. Where are the scissors? <laughs> <laughs> You'll excuse me, I'm going out and cut myself a grave. Me, I'm a mess. Well, I know, but I married you anyhow. Oh, oh look what you did. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, <laughs> what are you staring at? Haven't you ever seen a pair of legs before? I'm not so sure they're a pair. <laughs> Looks like you left them out in the rain and they wore. <laughs> Right. Okay, I will. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Here. Here. Oh, I wish I wasn't so hen-pecked. <laughs> which is better than not having any personality at all. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, the sewing we will go. The sewing we will go. Here we go to the sewing. Here we go. <laughs> Actually hooked it up, didn't it? <laughs> I scared Mike down. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Ooh, do, 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 Thank you, sir. You cut off my... You cut off my car. Why do you cut off my My tongue, where is my tongue? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Kildare. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? Mm. Huh? What's the matter? Would you talk? Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, hey, oh, you, that, uh, uh, Which one are you, Gertrude or Heathcliff? Say, you don't talk? Oh, what a wonderful wife you would make. <laughs> Come on, buddy, tell me, who are you? Oh, I got a traffic cop? No, no. Uh, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> hands, uh, hand, hands across the ocean. Uh, hands across the... Uh, uh, hands, hands Christian Anderson. Huh? <laughs> Is this some sort of a game? I'm sorry, my wife doesn't let me play with strangers. <laughs> Guardian Angel, stupid. <laughs> guardian Angel? Well, where were you when I really needed you? During the stock market. <laughs> oh, they got you too, huh? Say, if I got a lot of work for you to do, Guardian Angel. George, yes. I'm waiting for my skirt. That's Clara, my wife. I wish somebody had buttoned her to lip. <laughs> Say, you deserve the medal. I've been married to her for 15 years. I deserve the medal. <laughs> Good heaven! Somebody had caught her coming. I wish I knew what she was trying to say. George, 
George, I, I just had the funniest sensation. Really? I, I was talking, but I couldn't hear myself. Well, I should be so lucky. <laughs> I should have left well enough alone, you know that? Who, who are you talking to? Oh, it's, it's some guy from upstairs. And you should be ashamed in front of him like that. Here, what's the matter with you anyhow? Here, put this on. Yeah. You want him to see? Hmm? Oh, what? What him? He him. That what him. Here, now put this on. You want him to see those legs and die again laughing? <laughs> Clara, you can't see him, but my guardian angel standing right here beside me. Sure he is. Anybody that be your guardian angel would have to be a bigger bird brain than you. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, you don't understand. We get to... <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> George? George, you know what's going to get to you? Clara, I'm wait for me, wait you. for me. Wait for me. Don't now, wait a minute, Clara. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Then what's that in your hand? Well, who are you going to believe, me or the slingshot? <laughs> oh, Lord. I've got to you. I've got to you. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on, will you? Going down? Get that on, will you? Which way are you going? This way. Angel! 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 Something strange going on here. There certainly is. Why not call my mother? Good. While you're at it, call her a few things for me. Falling apart. You lost her shoe now. <laughs> hey, hey, Angel. <laughs> you at the middle again, huh? There you are. You keep that. Now, if I need you, you be ready, will you? Good. Angel! Angel! Good. I just want to see if he's paying attention. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, boy. Good heavens, what a girl, what a girl. Boy, I can't, too, you can't take too much. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't write it on here instead of trying to look. Like <laughs> I can't take too much of this at once, boy. Now you have to dream about a girl like that. Oh, boy, what Clara doesn't know won't hurt. Won't hurt me either. Oh, I wish I had a girl like that. I really wish I had it. <laughs> hmm. Gee, Georgie, you must be having a marvelous dream. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, good heavens, you made a hickey. <laughs> Oh. Hey, you got to get out of here. My wife is very jealous. Here, out, out. Come on. I have your wife, Georgie. We've been married for 15 years. We have? Yeah. Well, why didn't somebody tell me? <laughs> George, are you feeling all right? What? Are you feeling all right? My dear, I never felt better. <laughs> Stick around, folks. If this isn't a dream, stay tuned in. It may be a real television first. <laughs> I've got to get this straightened out. I don't know if you're my wife, Clara, or if... just in my imagination. <laughs> I've got to go find out. Boy, if you're... What, what an imagination I must have. Hey, Angel! Yes, dear? Hey, Angel. Tell me, what's the score? <laughs> no, no, I mean this score. You mean that's Clara? You mean I get to keep her? Oh, I've heard of people making silk purses out of a sow's ear. But boy, you made one out of a horse's neck. Georgie, 
Yes, come yes. on. I want you to come over here and sit with me and be real comfy. Oh, right, dear? There, how's that? That's <laughs> fine, Georgie. Yes. If you could have one wish in the world, yeah. just one, what would you wish for? <laughs> <laughs> and for my second wish, I'd wish the old Clara was here to see my first wish. What did you say, darling? I said I wish the old Clara could see me now. <laughs> She's a nightmare I used to have in the old days. <laughs> say about five minutes ago. Well, did she have a better figure than me? She didn't have a better figure than me. <laughs> oh, George, she sounds just awful. She was, you know. They refused to let her in the witches' union until she bobbed her nose. Oh, Georgie. Hi, hi. I was just telling Clara here about the time they refused you in the witches' union because you... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, uh, uh, let me, I can explain. Uh, look, uh, I've told you before, we have enough magazines. <laughs> now, you'll have to get someone else to send you through college, Sonny. <laughs> you dropped me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Claire. i got to talk to Claire. Oh, I don't think there's very much to say, except maybe rest in peace. Hey, oh. wait a minute. What's Wait that? a minute, who's that woman? Oh, that's not a woman, that's Clara. I, I mean... Uh, I happen to be this idiot's wife. Oh, don't you call my husband an idiot. And don't you call my idiot your husband. <laughs> well, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear every hair out of your head. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, 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 there. Well, <laughs> oh, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> You buy those wild oh, don't you hurt me? Don't you give me that fist? For 50 years I've had this. Oh, I'll have him walk. Help! Before I have to fight the winner. Hurry! What is it, George? Hey! Wait a minute. What are we fighting for? It's all his fault. All right, come on. Let's get that snake. George! Here, quick, take me up before George. they take me down. Hurry, going up. <laughs> That did it. Aha. Uh -huh. You're in trouble now. <laughs> is that Satan? The devil, you said. Oh, no, look. <laughs> Take me down, I need to... And now, Red Skelton and Harpo Marx in The Silent Spot. Expeditionary forces land in France. Battle of the Marne rages.
And here he is again, our star, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And our thanks, too, to our sponsors who made tonight's show possible. So until next oh, week... Lad. Jack Finney. <laughs> Uh, Red, I've been asked to present this award to you. Oh? <laughs> yeah. I I'd like to read the inscription. Yeah. To Red Skelton, in commemoration of his 12th year in television, presented by his good friend Jack Benny, who follows immediately over most of these stations with a very funny show. <laughs> Give me back my ball. <laughs> can't stand it. Gilmore speaking.